Welcome to episode 1171, Netty Kish, the richest man from Swaziland. Beginning, I did not know what Swaziland is, so I looked it up. Swaziland is a really tiny country, completely surrounded by South Africa. This is an outline of episode 1171. Groceries and food and different industries. What is the, the key parameter that you, that you search? I, I think it's very important that uh, you become a leader in whatever you want to do because to just be one of the rabble and many fighting for a, a little position is not very good. So what in pretty well mo most things we do, try to be a leader. Secondly, go into businesses that have a recurrent income stream open a supermarket and another supermarket, they're all recurrent income streams. He was born in Poshevstrom, South Africa in 1932. To grow as a Jewish boy there, how did it feel? Very, very comfortable life. Uh, Anti-Semitism virtually did not exist. The number of Jewish families in the town was uh, 100 families. He graduated from the University of Witwatersrand with a degree in commerce. Got his first capital at age 21 when his father died. Uh, my background is I inherited 1,200 pounds when my father died, and I received that when I was 21. And that gave me the startup money that enabled me to, to start my business career. Made his first fortune in his native Swaziland when he launched a cornmeal business in 1958. He went on to expand his business in Apartheid South Africa, turning it from a wholesale food distribution into a variety of other categories like supermarkets and commercial property development. A few years forward, a South African investment company called Sanlam bought up 49% of the company and reached agreements on the company's behalf to build a slew of financially unfeasible shopping malls that were supported by company assets. Subsequently, Nathan went bankrupt. In 1976, he went to New York and established Jetro Cash and Carry Wholesaler for restaurants. It would become the bulk of his business empire and in 2021 has a turnover of $10 billion. In 2012, at the age of 80, he entered the real estate market. He owns real estate in Australia, South Africa. And UK decisions and what have you learned inflation is not going away and that's perhaps uh, the one reason why I'm so focused on on real estate because real estate takes relatively little decisions my advice to you is don't put your money in the bank borrow money from the bank buy real estate get it properly leveraged and sit back and watch inflation make money for you <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> tax free in August 2021, Nady Curse is 89 years old and he's worth $4.4 billion. Now, the secret of his success, do it different, do it better. The answers you gave to the other question, you should try and aim to be a leader in each of the markets you enter. But how do you go about doing that if you're entering a market that's particularly developed and you've got very experienced com you know, competitors in there already? You, you do it differently or you do it better? In, in, in a short answer. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and leave your questions and comments below. My next video will be Netty Kish, Nine Lessons. Wishing everyone peace and prosperity.